Have you ever been on a long journey and it seems like you would never arrive to the destination? I think we all can relate to what I'm talking about. Stay tuned as we talk about end time fatigue. Hello, this is Brian Rogers, and I want to say thank you for tuning into this video and uh, checking out this YouTube channel. We're brand new, only a little over a week old, and uh, just excited about um, you know producing these videos and uh, staying engaged with you, our viewers. And I just wanted to say uh, thank you for again taking the time. And if you like these videos, I want to invite you and encourage you to give us a thumbs up. Let us know and how you've enjoyed watching these videos. And also I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel, please. We do encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Uh, for the next few minutes, I just wanted to share, I'm on this highway and there's a, it's a, you know, a four lane highway and a lot of signs and exit signs and informational signs and directional signs and warning signs as well. As I mentioned in a previous post video, I'm um, in the preparation of uh, putting together road signs this teaching road signs to the coming of the Lord. And as I was traveling today, I was thinking about end time fatigue. You know, when you're traveling for a long period of time, um, sometimes uh, it can be um, very uncomfortable. What I mean is we need to sometimes pause and stretch our legs. Uh, sometimes on this journey, it seems like it's taken forever to reach our destination. And as we're traveling, sometimes we're asking ourselves the question, are we ever going to reach our destination? I think all of us at one time or another have had that thought. And as I'm traveling, I was looking out at my odometer as well. And on this car, I, I drive a 2003 Honda Accord. And this car, I'm telling you, has been so dependable. Right now, I'm almost getting ready to um, hit 374,000 miles. <laughs> you heard me correctly. 374,000 miles, original transmission and original engine. This has been a faithful car. And I thought about the dependability, I thought about the longevity of this car, how it's taken me to a many of destination as I've gone to minister and preach at different churches and revivals and also other appointments as well. And I'm just telling you that, that as I looked at this odometer, it reminded me that we as Christians, we've got to be in it for the long haul. But what I mean is, listen, when I'm talking about end time fatigue, what I'm simply saying is sometimes, you know, we go through this life and we get discouraged. But we all do. We get down. And we're saying, Lord, how much longer before you come? You know, we look at the world and how bad the world is with all the immorality, the degradation that has taken place. Uh, all the impurity in the world. We see the world stage, how things are coming together. And we're asking ourselves the question, Lord, how much longer? And sometimes we get, once again, an end time fatigue. But remember, we're all in this journey together. It's a journey. And as we travel each mile marker, as I see each mile marker today as I travel, we have to remind ourselves that we're in it for the long haul. That just because things don't happen according to our timetable, that we are to remain faithful. I recall what the Bible says in the book of Galatians chapter six, that we're not to be weary in well-doing, that we're to keep on going, that if we do not lose heart, if we don't give up, that we shall receive a harvest in the proper time. My friend, I wanna encourage you today to keep going, even though at times it can be very, very discouraging. discouraging. You gotta keep on going. I recall what the Bible says in the book of Peter where it says in the last days there'll be people scoffing at the coming of the Lord, saying, where is the promise of His coming? I've heard my entire life that, that Jesus is coming. You think about it. You know, I've heard my entire life that Jesus is coming, and I'm sure that you have as well. You know, preachers and my parents and Sunday school teachers, we've heard that Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming. And the Bible says... In the last days, people will say, where's the promise of his coming? But do you know that's a road sign right there? And we'll talk more about that later in a future video. But, but the Bible says, the day of the Lord will come. There'll be a time when the day of the Lord will come. And Jesus Christ is going to split the eastern sky. And my friend, 
great day in the morning. We're going to lose all gravitational pull, and we're going to meet our Lord and Savior in the clouds, the rapture of the church. But the reason why Jesus Christ has not yet returned is because the Lord is not slack concerning His promise. For His, for his willing, He don't desire for anyone to perish. He desires for all to come to repentance. And the reason why Jesus has not yet returned is simply because souls are still being saved. People are coming to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. That is why I put the time in and making these videos because I have a heart for the lost. People are going to die and leave this earth. They're going to one of two places, either heaven or a place called hell. Yes, it might be 25, 50 years before Christ returns. We don't know. All of us are going to see death that the Lord should tarry His coming. My friend, I am looking for the rapture of the church. And I want to be prepared, and I am prepared by the grace of God and His grace alone. And I want to encourage you today, as we're all on this journey, we all are on this journey. We all have questions in life. Sometimes we simply don't understand. But I want to encourage you, do not be discouraged. Keep on keeping on. As each mile marker passes, as each year continues forward, and how much more we have left, we don't know. But one thing I do know for sure, we're one day closer to the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I'm going to continue my journey. I'm going to keep on going. I've come too far to look back now. And I want to encourage you today to keep on keeping on. Do not be weary in well-doing that you will receive that harvest if you do not give up. So I want to thank you today for tuning in to this video on end time fatigue. Yes, we might get, get weary, but we're going to keep on keeping on. But thank you for tuning in. Again, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know. And please subscribe to our channel and be looking for new videos that are soon to be posted and uploaded to our YouTube channel. And uh, as we do a teaching on road signs to the coming of the Lord and also prophecy updates as well as we talk about what the Bible says and what is happening on the world stage. My friend, I'm excited. And I'm going to keep on this journey. I'm going to keep on trucking. I'm going to keep on keeping on in the 10-2 position, right? <laughs> hey, God bless you. Thanks for tuning in. And keep looking up. Jesus is coming soon.